guys, it's Sheila and today I want to have a candid discussion with you guys about how I make money on YouTube and online um, and kind of get your guys' feedback as well if you want to see more of these videos. So just a quick background on me, um, I've been doing YouTube since 2008. Um, I became a partner in 2009 sometime and then in 2011 I won YouTube Next Up which was a contest that Google hosted where they gave 25 creators from the US $35,000 and training in New York. Um, I got to meet like top YouTubers. Um, I got like a thousand dollar gift card to B&H to um, ex you know, buy you know a new camera and things like that. Um, so and then after that um, I did YouTube for a while and then I stopped doing YouTube to um, focus on my career. Um, for those of you who don't know, not only am I a certified makeup artist and photographer, I am also a um, GIA certified gemologist. So I um, took a while off of doing that and then late last year I kind of, I was working my job and I decided that I wanted to go back to working for myself um, so I began kind of setting things in motion so after a while I was able to reduce my hours at work um, and then I finally separated from my employer so now that I work full-time from home um, I make money off of different things including my YouTube channel in a couple different ways um, so as someone who has under 10,000 subscribers um, there are ways to monetize your channel so I just want to speak from my experience with that so if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure that you subscribe and join the fam um, but I have about 8.7 subscribers right now 8.7 thousand subscribers as I make this video um, and about 1.5 2 million views collectively um, so for me I wanted to kind of share with you guys um, kind of my tips and tricks and things so there's five ways that I monetize my YouTube channel and one of those ways is through sponsorships um, and I do sponsorships on my own um, I have companies that reach out to me um, that want to sponsor my videos um, I will connect with companies if I feel like I'll reach out to them and try to connect with them if I feel like my content is going to be a good fit for their brand um, and then also I use different websites where I can find sponsorships through one of those websites is called FameBit. So I started on FameBit in February and I've done almost 20 page sponsorships um, through that website and so that's about three and a half months now um, that I have been on FameBit and actively kind of reaching out to brands and brands have been reaching out to me through FameBit. Um, so it's been a really great experience. So I wanted to share that with you guys. There are other websites out there where you can get sponsorships, but I really like FameBit because FameBit to me has the freshest platform, um, meaning that the team at FameBit is constantly reaching out to brands, so every day there's new brands and new sponsorship opportunities on FameBit. Um, FameBit is a website where basically there's brands that run campaigns, and they're basically looking for people with social influence, um, be it YouTube, be it um, if you have a lot of Instagram followers or Twitter followers or Vine, um, and different, uh, I think Tumblr too might be one on there, um, but the requirement is that you have to have at least 5,000 subscribers or 5,000 thousand followers or viewers on any given uh, platform to be able to join the website. So once you have 5,000 subscribers, and I do have some tips and tricks for you guys who maybe want to monetize your channel and you have under 5,000 subscribers um, and ways where you can get free products, you can get sponsorships. So if you guys want information on that, let me know and I will um, make a video on that for you guys. Um, but um, if you have over 5,000 subscribers, FameBit is the place to be. Um, the reason I say that, and this is not a sponsored video for FameBit, I'm literally just doing this because I want to share with you guys my experience with the platform now so as far as what are companies paying people to do it's not just reviews um you can do um i'm just looking at my phone to read the types here um you can do reviews mentions hauls lookbooks favorites videos tutorials um gameplay sketch comedy or comedy sketches unboxing videos um 
So there's a lot of different ways that you can um, collaborate with different companies. It's not always just a paid review. Um, one thing that I would say is that because it's a platform where you can go on there and you can look at companies, you can look at companies and look at brands and you only have to apply to the brands that you feel like are going to be a good fit for you and your channel. Um, if there's a situation where you feel like, okay, I wouldn't like that product, then don't apply for that sponsorship. You know what I mean? Like you don't, like you're not, for, it's your business. So you're not forced to, um, review or do a tutorial or make a video on anything that you don't want to make a video on. I have had nothing but good experiences, but like, again, it's kind of like online shopping in a way because you're going on there and you're seeing what products would you use, what products are, is your audience going to be interested in? Um, you know, products, services, things like that. Also, it's not just products. Um, I have done um, sponsorships with uh, different companies like Opera, the web browser company. They sponsored um, one of my uh, wig tutorials. Um, so, which is great because it allowed me to make a video that I have been wanting to make um, that's not sponsored by, you know, a beauty company. It's just a video that I knew my subscribers were going to be interested in and I wanted to make that video for you guys, showing you guys how I create my, you know, my units. Um, and I was able to do that because of the fact that the opera sponsored that video. Um, also, there's companies that may want you to, um, like game, like app companies. Um, like I've done, um, sponsored videos for like Virage, um, which is like a, um, like a Craigslist type of app. Um, also for like gaming apps, like for Mother's Day, I did a sponsored video for Best Fiends, where the video wasn't a whole, it was a video that I was doing a dedication to my mother um, for Mother's Day, and they had like a 30 second feature in the beginning of that video. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. It doesn't have to be a video all about a product. It can be a mention. Um, it can literally you j just be you saying, you know, hey, I like this product or hey, I'm using this product um, or whatever. Um, and so that's a great way too, where you can even have a video where you may have a couple different brands that are sponsoring that video and mentions. Um, you can have that as well. So there's lots of different options on how you can go about doing it. Now, as far as getting sponsorships when you have lower a lower number of subscribers, so my recommendation would be to apply and apply often. I feel as though like some people who say, well, I don't really get that many sponsorships through there or I haven't got a sponsorship through Famebit yet. Um, and you have to be persistent. So I look at it this way. Famebit has like nothing works unless you do. Like you have to put in the time and effort towards working towards something. Um, and it's a lot of trial and error. So you have to figure out what proposals work. Um, literally, I would go research the company, research the website, see what they're about, see what the brand's about. Um, a lot of times Times, especially the companies that want to work with smaller youtubers like myself a lot of times these are um, you may be talking to the owner of that company for all you know a lot of times you're not talking to the marketing person you're talking directly to the owner of that company um, so you want to show that hey I looked at your company I looked at your brand explain to them like you're selling yourself basically you're selling them on the idea of why they want to work with you so you want to paint a picture of what you're going to offer them I have um, now throughout doing different sponsorships I have kind of figured out the things that companies tend to come back and ask so I include those things in my proposal I tell them what I'm going to offer them you know what I'm going to do how I'm going to do it when I'm going to do it everything like that and why it's always a good idea to say why you feel like your channel is a good fit for their brand um and the great thing about famebit too is i've had a lot of companies that have worked with me multiple times through famebit um even just recently there's a video that you guys will be seeing very soon i'm very excited um it's a tutorial on it's a natural hair tutorial um and you guys will be seeing that soon um, but that is from a company that I've worked with before. They sponsored other videos. They liked my work and working with me. So when they decided to put up another campaign, um, they reached out to me and said, hey, they want to hire me again for this campaign. So um, I feel like if you do quality content, um, content is, is king. Because if you do quality videos and you show them what you can do, and that's another thing I would also suggest is that 
um, if you have um, a lot of times companies want to see that you've done a certain type of content um, so if you do beauty videos and you've never done a cooking tutorial it may be harder to get companies um, to sponsor your cooking videos that you've never done so um, those of you who may be like on platforms like Oxley or you're just receiving free products that's a good opportunity to show what you can do like basically your channel is think of your channel like your channel is an advertisement um because companies are looking at your previous content so always try to be consistent and make your content the best as possible um and then and then those sponsorships will will come you can show a company then like hey i can do a video similar to this video that i did for this company um for your company so we can get those same results for you or whatever you know um, like I've done a video on a watch and in as a result of that video I was able to get a sponsored video with Jord which I absolutely love my Jord watch um I'll link that video at the end of this video so you guys can check it out um but I was able to get a sponsorship with Jord watches um and they once I showed them like hey I've worked with another watch company um because that was one of these th one of the things that they specified in their campaign was that they wanted to work with somebody who had already done you know watch videos or jewelry videos in the past um so the fact that I had already done a really awesome lookbook for another watch company it made them want to hire me to promote their watches um and that's what you want to do like you want to really reach out to companies and show them what you can what you can offer them um so as far as everything else on the website, I love the platform. Um, basically, once a brand accepts you into um, their campaign, um, that money, that the agreed upon price, that goes into like an escrow account. Um, and then you submit your content and I've got questions about this too like well if you're submitting your your content for approval does that mean that um, the companies are basically like dictating like what you can say about their products okay no um, usually when you submit your um, content for approval um, they'll they'll usually um, usually lately I have not had any issues where companies have asked me to revise anything um, if anything sometimes companies will come back and say um, hey can you add this link to the description box or whatever usually um, you don't have to like redo your entire video or anything like that usually it's not the video at all it's usually like okay well, we we decided we're wanting this promotion can you add this promotional link or whatever um so a tip for that too I also ask the brand before I complete the video um, while I'm doing the video um, working on the video I asked them like hey are you going to be offering any promo codes or anything like that that you like include it um, so that way when I submit it it can get approved quicker um, but no they're not telling you like hey you have to say X Y and Z about the product obviously it is they are paying you to do some type of review or tutorial showing their product in a positive light no nobody is going to pay you to sit up and bash their product i think that's a given um does that mean that people are saying things that aren't true about products um for me i can only speak for myself no i'm always 100 percent honest um if there's if i just don't like a product which i have like i said i haven't had that happen but I would say that to the company. I would let them know. Um, I haven't had that happen through Fame, but I have had that happen with other sponsors. Um, like I've had that happen with hair companies where they sent me hair that was very bad quality. And I'm like, I can't sit up here and say that this is a really great product. Um, so, but the thing is, if you're professional and you communicate with the company, usually 95% of problems can be, um, you know, be fixed and a lot of times the companies if they're a good company they want that feedback so that they can make their product better um and then they can come back to the table with a better product um that's you know that's going to be more suitable so they they can fix those issues before you do your video and people start you know the orders start pouring in um other than that as far as any issues um so after the the um the content is approved um then the money goes into your chosen account method um the the brand approves it then famebit gives you your money in a couple days and usually i get my money either like the same day or like the day after um but 
usually it takes no more than like a few days to get your money from FameBit. Um, FameBit does take 10% from you and they take 10% from the brand. Um, some people might feel like that's a lot of money. I personally don't. And obviously you can adjust your um, proposal amount um, to compensate for that that 10% difference so if you know let's just say let's use a hundred dollars for example because it's easy um if you know that you want to walk away with a hundred dollars and not ninety dollars then make your proposal you know a hundred and ten dollars so that it offsets um that 10% fee for fame bit um if there's ever an issue with a brand or something like that um, FameBit is there to kind of mediate that process, but 9 times out of 10, you don't really have those issues um, on FameBit that much. I would think, or at least I have not had those issues that much on FameBit, because as long as you communicate with the brand, you're pretty much good. You know what I mean? Like, you communicate with each other, you're able to figure everything out amongst yourself without FameBit hopping in. But if they need, if you needed that, they're there. Um, any questions that I've had about FameBit, um, I believe her name is Perm Porn. Um, I'm sure she has a real name, but I think it's her username. Um, she's a YouTuber as well. Um, and uh, she um, usually is the one who answers whatever questions that I have. But um, she gets back to me really quickly. Um, anything I need her to look into or have questions about anything, she's like, she's like right on it. Um, so just the whole favorite team is awesome. Um, the whole favorite website is awesome. I like it. Um, I would highly recommend checking it out if you're a YouTuber um, and you're looking to monetize your channel. Uh, so. Just all in all, that is my opinion on FameBit and on sponsorships and how FameBit works. There are other websites out there that I have used, but as far as like what website would I recommend first and foremost, the first company that comes to mind is FameBit because um, I've had like a very, very positive experience all around with them. So I know this video was kind of long, but hopefully you guys, hopefully this kind of helped you guys and um, you can kind of take away some things that may help you um, with your channel. If you have questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye. Everything will be alright, I seen the bigger picture Don't worry about a thing, my yo baby got ambition That I got your back through the thin and the thicker Hold your head up, I'm finna stack this bread up Torn money pouring from commanding cross to get up Let's shine, giving it my all and never